You're still watching Ways. Now, World AIDS Day is observed on December 1st every year. World AIDS Day is dedicated to spreading awareness about the acquired immune deficiency syndrome, that's AIDS, which is spread by a virus called human immunodeficiency virus. Now, the theme for World AIDS Day 2020 is global solidarity, resilient services amidst this COVID-19 um, pandemic. HIV prevention, testing and treatment are all being being disrupted worldwide, particularly in countries with um, healthcare infra um, where the healthcare infrastructure is weak. So it's important that we still remind people that um, there is still AIDS in the building, you know, not just COVID-19. And mm -hmm. um, we're hoping that we're able to eradicate this menace. You know, it's, I mean, mm. it's not something that and we need to also um, enlighten individuals yeah. that is not keep the, the diverse ways that they can actually contract you know, con it. Contract yeah. it. Yes. So you know, the funny important. thing is, I will tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. Today is World AIDS Day. Mm -hmm. Beyond today, if not for today, I haven't heard the word AIDS, AIDS in, in, a long in a very long time. Because and there was coronavirus a time, has actually taken over Because there was a time that. AIDS was just all in the new, the, news. They were the pigeon jingles. On TV, it's they know, it's not the show, show for face. So, it's they you know, you know, they said all sorts. I mean, they did a lot of awareness, mm -hmm. and I think it brought that consciousness to people. Mm -hmm. But it's also to it's also important that days like this, we remind ourselves that these things still exist. Still exist. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Huh, absolutely. All right. all right. So I'm going to go with Sansi first. What did okay. you find for us in the news? Okay. So well, now our new INEC chairman, uh, that's in Independent uh, National Electoral Commission, has been appointed which is, is like pretty much the same person we know, uh, Mr. Mahmoud, uh, Mahmoud, <laughs> Mahmoud. <laughs> Yakubu is the new uh, Senate, um, my goodness, INEC chairman for 2023 elections. That's his second term. The first one was in, he was appointed in 2015. He took, uh, took over from um, Atahiru Jega. Right. So uh, he's expected to resume immediately. And during his screening, he said the commission will try to get the required materials ahead of the polls for the success of future elections. Also, what we intend to do this time around is that things that we require for the election, we shouldn't wait until the election year. Mm -hmm. There are some critical aspects of our work that have to be concluded next year. We just have to find the resources to do so. Mm -hmm. Also, um, um, we have to undertake... Uh, 1,508 activities in 814 days for us to deliver in the 2023 elections. And here is the one I find really interesting. He also appealed for the construction of 37 strong rooms across the country to prevent destruction of electoral materials. So what about strong rooms? Wow. Get to the point so of the My point room. is, if we were to score mm. Mr. Mahmoud for mm -hmm. um, 2019 elections? Yeah, and beyond or whatever. What where what is his score sheet like? Is it good? Is he a sixty percent, fifty percent, hundred percent? What's his? Score you know, sheet? I find that really interesting. What because the committee chairman uh, Kabiru guy said that Mr. Mahmoud was found suitable for the position because he had um, no petition or no uh, incriminating report against him. Wow. So My question still him. goes to and of course we know that Mr. President uh, specifically requested for his return mm. okay. as the next My, my question still goes to before the um, 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 ballot paper and everything gets to the um, strong rooms. Usually mm -hmm. we have towels that come in to disrupt. We're not even talking the about towels. So can we even everything. move past? I thought all of these conversations about strong room and all that. Mm -hmm. Did you not see how they did US election? We were all monitoring it from Nigeria. Right. Exactly. How we not move to? I mean, and take advantage of technology. Digital to, world. You understand yes. to move our. Mm -hmm. You know. So that, you know what. Today is a day for celebration because it, it, it makes no sense. You have technology at your disposal. Mm -hmm. so and you choose to ignore yes, it. Yes, and you choose to ignore it. And you're telling me it's strong. We don't need strong rooms, right? We need, we need you to start to move our things in the cloud. You don't need any strong room. Let us go and to that, that place where it cannot be, like what you're saying about mm -hmm. ballot bus snatching mm -hmm. and all of mm -hmm. Let's get to that point and we'll use our leverage on technology. Absolutely. I think we have Lamy. If Lamy is there. Lamy, are you there? Is Lamy there? Okay, I don't think she's the back. <laughs> okay, so let me take my story. Yeah, your we story. are all aware about the the massacre that happened in Zam, Zam, Zabamari uh, village. And we all know that it's not something that we are proud of that has happened in Nigeria, where 43 mm -hmm. people's, people were this actually... This one is more than 43. Let's just leave the numbers. For God <laughs> 43 to tell people. Us. They said that we shouldn't be emotional about it. We mm -hmm. shouldn't say it's a massacre. But in actual fact, it is a massacre. Mm. So um, the UN has actually condemned it. 
the UN Security Council condemns massacre of Nigerian farmers by Boko Haram. They were killed on Saturday, we all know that. Mm. So UN has condemned this killing in the strongest of terms and expressed profound condolences to the uh, people of Nigeria and also to um, the families that have of the Lost victims, ones, of the yeah. victims. Yeah. So, and they also reiterated the fact that it is important for us to combat terrorism in any form and in any way it has come out in the world today. I don't today. know who sent, who sent that list. Was it in our group? A WhatsApp mm -hmm. group or something. When they sent it, they, they shared the list of terrorists and um, the volatile um, places in the, in, in, in the world. Mm -hmm. You know, Nigeria was constant number three <laughs> since twenty oh, yes. for the last five years. Mm -hmm. Nigeria was constant number three. Iraq mm -hmm. and um, Afghanistan were mm -hmm. juggling between one and two. One but and Nigeria two. was just constant number three. When did we get to that point? It's still the same question I'm going to ask. Mm -hmm. That we are now a volatile, you know, highly um, insecure country. And she was very, what, very peaceful and what, secure. Uh, aside from this, what actually struck me about the story is the fact that, yes, UN has condemned the killing of, uh, of these individuals. Everybody should condemn it because it's not something that, it's not something to be proud of that individuals who were going to the farm to do their work are uh, killed on the road. Sanzi, you want uh, to say something? I want to, let me land, please. And in the process, we have um, an individual, um, um, the, um, the spokesperson, the spokesperson the president, for the president yeah. who said that it, um, they did not get military clearance before going out. Mm. My take on this is, why would I get military clearance well, before going out? that was the story out? I took. Yeah. Yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Well, the truth is, well, some people have said that that area is actually under military um, um, was supervision. supervision and all of that. That mm. so it, it, he's in the right saying that. But I'm saying that beyond that, where if do we? If it was within military supervision, the then they should have been so somewhere here is around. My, here the is area. my opinion, and, and a lot of people fine. may not agree. But was it confirmed that this is Boko Haram that carried out this act? No, it wasn't confirmed. So here is the thing: let us not be too quick to give Boko Haram credit because there is something it does to the mind when mm -hmm. someone does something, whether or not they did it and you give them the credit it makes them appear even more powerful and then he puts fear in the mind of other people mm. so maybe it was not Boko Haram that's why we need more investigative journalists maybe mm. it wasn't Boko Haram maybe it was them but we need to be sure and confirm Absolutely. so we don't end up giving them credit that makes them look more mm -hmm. superhuman or mm. more you know more 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 dreadful mm -hmm. you know <laughs> It just, I, I just, I just don't like the fact that we are so quick to give them credit because it makes them more powerful, yes. and that's not, it, it, you know, it's. And my it's take not okay. also is that the the, the, the spokesperson should have also, um, show Garba should have also given some sort of empathy what? to the individuals who were <laughs> All these killed because we, we are, he it's actually fine. blamed the dead for wanting to be. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Let's ah, not let's not say it's, it. <laughs> it's so painful. Well, my story is it's just. We shouldn't be it's emotional just, about this. Well, it's, it's not to be it's, emotional. Let's. It's we we, we that hope we that they investigate to. it. My story, Absolutely. because we ran out of time, I will just say the headline. Mm -hmm. You know, the speculations by World Health um, Organization says malaria death toll to exceed um, COVID-19 in sub-Saharan Africa. I mean, if you have time, go and look for the article and read it, mm. you know, because they're saying more than uh, 409,000 people globally might, you know, die, might be killed. I mean, we're killed last year from um, malaria. Malaria. So in, you know, where we're still talking COVID-19, COVID-19, hmm. there's, there's malaria killing a lot of people. So I, I think a lot of us who just need to be conscious of certain things to mm -hmm. know that, yes, um, we must take our health and the government must find a way to eradicate, you know, things like this. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Your gate is on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll take a short break. Uh, we're not able to connect with Lami, but when we, we when we... When we come from the break, she will join the conversation and we'll also have AK join us as well. Stay with us. We'll be right back.